to make it dockerized. Yeah. So, but I'll still I'll still work on that. That too. Okay. Yes. All right. For, for the for the dockerization part, there's going to be a tutorial on that on Thursday, so you can keep building stuff and. Once you have, uh, you can keep uh, researching about Docker and keep gaining more knowledge. And once the tutorial airs, then you should be able to set it up by yourself. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, can you pick the next person for us? Okay. Um, let me check. I don't know if um, Michael Darko is on the call. Michael Darko. It's been a while I heard from him. Okay, it's oh. not on the call. Yeah, uh, it's like it. Okay, Kate. Kate and Jockey. Kate. Hello? Hi. Hello? Yeah, hi. Hi. Um, so for me, I was trying to install Docker on my laptop, and it took really long, basically the whole of yesterday. But it finally worked. So today I'm trying to create containers for Airflow and for the DBT so that I can now finally start on the challenge. Yeah. Okay. Any um, blockers you think you will face while you set up the tutorials today? Um, not yet, because I haven't yet done it. But if I do, I'll definitely reach out. Alright, that's that's good. Thank you very much. Um, thank you to the next um person to go. Um, Stashi. Stashi. Uh, morning. Hi. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yesterday I was working on uh, DBT. And uh, yeah, I've managed to install it, and uh, I can see the data. I just can't. Uh, I'm still. I still haven't put it in in a database, and that's what I'm trying to do right now. Okay, that's uh, good. Can can you can you explain the concept of um? I mean, how is database and data wells are this are they the same thing? Uh. I don't think so. Okay. What what makes them different? Uh, okay. So I'll just say in terms of types. I think uh, my SQL is a, is a database. It's a, yeah, it's a database. But then when I'm using DBT and I'm using uh, using uh, things like Redshift, uh, those are data warehouses. You say that because you think um, Redshift is a managed um, is a managed cloud um, solution, and MySQL is not. Uh, probably, I'm not sure about that. I, I think that um, the the basics of uh, data warehouse. I think I think it starts from MySQL. I think MySQL is a. It can be a data warehouse. It can be a database, right? So, an example of that uh, as an, an example of data warehouse is MySQL as well. So MySQL is also a data warehouse, right? I think the, the major difference between a database and a data warehouse, maybe I will ask um, um, the next um, training. But thank you very much, um, Stacey. Can you pick the next person? OK. Azaria. Azaria. Um, morning, everyone. Uh um okay so um yesterday i also had to run um some personal errands so i did not uh, cover a lot of ground but um i did try to see how dbt works um setting setting it up locally um and also looking at the data and trying to figure out uh, what to load um i'm going to try and uh, load in the data like, after the stand up that's um, good. Can you tell us the difference between a database and a data warehouse? Are they different? Um, I'm I'm not really sure, but like uh, 
a data warehouse is a type of database with, like which also consists of um, the different data analysis and um, reporting that is going to be done um, on the database maybe um, on, on the actual source that has been collected. So I think a data warehouse can act as a database plus some additional functionality. So the data warehouse can act as a database with additional functionality. Uh, I think so. Yeah, I'm not, not sure. Okay, thank you. I think uh, thank you very much. Um, at Yabibe was on the call, so he's going to clarify that. Probably if he wants to do it now, or we can move to the next. I, mean, I think you know. Usually, I I also just cannot tell more than what Azaria just said. Um, depending on the question, will be depending on what what you are looking but i think um, abu bakari already said a data warehouse can be just a database or it can just be with more functionality just like redshift and most of the functionality usually comes um, from ability to run or to execute things quickly easily redshift is one case you know like rds in amazon is mostly for the usual MySQL, Postgres, and other databases, uh, while Redshift is kind of a service that is scalable. So, but it is a type of database. You do a SQL query, but these days even a SQL queries can be run on anything. So, it would be much distinct. I mean, it, it would be much more important to say like when people talk about warehouse, they just want to say database with just some additional items as well if there is but they could just be mean exactly database um, so at the end more than that i think it will be probably there isn't one simple uh, definition warehouse is just a very old terminology for database okay. thank you very much yeah we go can you pick the next person for us So Azaria, right? So Azaria, you are asked to choose the next person. Okay. Um, Abraham Gassessa. Okay. Abraham Gassessa. Yeah. Morning. Okay. Uh, yesterday, uh, I have been reading because the resource gave me the understanding. And now I'm trying to look the solution of the question that uh, we asked yesterday. Uh, I hope uh, I give uh, a good understanding. So uh, today after the stand-up, I plan uh, to start working on the toilet. And also I have uh, uh, and also I got confusion on how to use ABT with Docker. So uh, I don't know how to use ABT with Docker. Okay, you have like a confusion on how to use dbt with docker is that it yes yes um i i from my understanding i don't think you use um, dbt with docker you just use docker to set dbt up on your local uh, machine right so it's just like uh, probably you have like, a, a problem installing um dbt and if that's like the case you can just use uh an image from docker to set up the dbt on your on your um, machine right so we don't like use dbt with docker with docker to set up dbt on our uh, system okay 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 thank, thank you. you um can you pick the next screen okay uh just uh christian okay christian Christian, are you here? Uh, maybe not. Okay, Christian? Okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Um, yesterday, I was reading the request that we put in the challenge and I already installed my SQL and right now I think I will try just to load the data. 
That is where okay. I am. Okay. Thank you, Christian. Um, can you pick the next question? Uh, I think I will pick Yosef. Let me see. Oh, Yosef, you are there. I, I, I will pick Michael. Mike, Mikey. Say Michael? No, Mikey. Mikey. Milky. Okay. No, Milky. Sorry. Yes, Milky. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hi. Uh, good morning, everyone. So, um, the, the I have I have started working on the task for this week, but it's somehow confusing. Um, starting from the data, uh, there is no description of what uh, what it's talking about or what the sensors are picking up. Like it's a bunch of a date, the time, and a big number, and a bunch of zero numbers. So I didn't understand the data in the first place. Then um, I was trying to figure out what the DBT is and Redash and uh, Airflow, how they will, how how I would be able to connect them and work with them uh, with a single Docker Compose file. And I didn't figure that out. I'm currently struggling to figure that out. Having a single um, a Docker Compose file to run all these services, the Redash, the, uh, the, uh, the SQL services like Postgres and uh, MySQL and DBT and Airflow. So I'm trying to figure that out, but I haven't written a single line of code and uh, I'm kind of worried if I, if I don't figure it out as soon as possible, I might end up not uh, doing the work. Uh, in, uh, within the limited time that we have. Um, what do you have? What do you have so far on um, all of these things? All of the tech stacks that we that we had this week. So I read all about the, uh, all about the tools that we need to use, but I'm okay. trying to figure how how I can possibly use them with uh, with Docker and uh, connect them and work. Uh, um, create a single Docker Compose file to run all the services and uh, configure them all to work together as a single entity. Yes. I thought that was the request on the task. Yes, it's one of the requests to Dockerize all of the tech stuff this week, so it's just yeah. easy to reproduce. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. Uh, about the data, yeah, but do you want to like say something on the um, data? Yes, I mean, I'm a bit surprised. At the same time, I'm assuming that it's just, um, so I, I should check the data first, but the description in the page, I thought is sufficient enough to know that this is, you know, there is a plot that shows what it is. It's on a highway that you measure some number, uh, and then you, you give, and then on the, so if you look at also just, so the person has also the, a git file actually, like or a, a git thing where the data descriptions are already given there. So you could even go and get, you know, whatever code from there. So, so these, these things I just thought are, you know, things that you could easily figure out by looking around it's like what is there and truly i might be missing something so and i'm just gonna be uh, it might be like later if i see maybe where you're confused is not maybe what you're saying it maybe is much more than you probably one step ahead of me but if i just look if i already just go to the you know in the page which is the, the whole page where most of the data you know the data comes from it describes the the whole process, including raw data, like if you want to understand, including a GitHub uh, page where the person is a PhD research, they have a Python file, how to read even um, the data and convert them into whatever that you receive. So in principle, I thought you would be able to figure out that, um, and given that there is so much resources. So I'm, um, I'm not sure what is difficult about. So maybe let me look at it if, if it's really, if you have a particular question, 
instead of like, I haven't figured out the data because I mean, the data has so much information, including a code, how to generate it. Um, so, you know, like it says, okay, reading this on Poison takes 68 seconds, you know, like, okay, this is the Paints Davis 180 data, you know, visualizing and blah. so I'm just looking at the code. And then there is a weekly, hourly, minute, whatever timestamp and you know, how it, they convert it into something. So I would be able to figure out at least from the code. Um, so maybe that, unless I'm missing something, I thought that is slightly easier. So yeah, if you have particular questions, maybe let's raise them, let's discuss them later. I will be, um, I will be available later, just uh, at the usual daily meeting we used to have like for the past weeks where we had, we, we had in a group. At that time, we would be able to discuss. But yeah, Melki, I think you probably raised the game. Yeah, um, about the data, I didn't uh, backtrack the data from the resource. I just downloaded it. I thought that there will be uh, metadata about the data. That's what I was expecting. But I just got a text file. That's why I, I was asking. So we should go to the UC Davis uh, site and check the the person's. Uh, uh, file, I think, so we can get the metadata about it. Hello. Hi, we can we can hear you. Uh, maybe we we'll just um, hear the book. Well, yes, I think you should. I think you should um, do that. Like getting the data alone, and then you have no columns there. You have no data description. Then you won't. You can't infer what the data is talking about. To backtrack, I mean, going back to where the data um, originate from, like the source and the um, GitHub link that uh, Maleta shared, can um, help you get more uh, insight as to what the data is saying. Malet, go ahead, please. Yeah, um, just to add more thing here, the GitHub link have the data description about each column there in the text file you downloaded from the AWS. Mm -hmm. All right, I think that should fix all so that, that will give you more a clue to start. Right. Sure. Thank you, Malik. Uh, Milky, can you pick the next um, training? Sorry, guys, I was interrupted um, by a call and I had to close it. So, sorry, like, did I miss something um, with the discussion? So I, I heard that Milky, you said that you will backtrack the data, but you don't need to. It's already listed in the data section. The link there is just to the whole page where the data is and from there you will get everything. So it's under the data section is where the data comes from, the page, and then under the task section, the link is exactly to the data, to the .tar file, like you know, to the zip file. I don't know if I missed something. No, actually, um, Malet share the link and then that like explains how to get the data description and understand what to do with the data. Am I? Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, I was having the same question as Milky about understanding the data and Except if I'm wrong, but on the GitHub link shared from the data doesn't have the the well read me that have the all description of the data. Except if I'm on the wrong page, but the read me doesn't have the whole description of the data. The read me does the read me does not provide uh, I'm saying actually this is the case. You sometimes don't. Of course, life could have been easier if the person. So you should you should be a judge now, saying like, okay, this guy or whoever this person uh, didn't write read me, and that makes your life hard. Please never do that, right? So you are better than him. Great, but then you still need to solve the problem. You don't stop there just because read me is not there. Then you open the code because you can't read the code. And then you go to the code and then you realize, you know, that there is more information in the code where station summary is given as flow max, flow 99, flow total, you know, and other time series for a single station, you get it as timestamp, flow occupancy, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, 
life is not always easy and that's exactly what we are telling you here please write read me because people end up to your page this way without you know and the people who end up who are coming to your your git they probably don't have tolerance like you maybe and then they just say like okay this person doesn't write so they will just not use it and you should be better than that and this is a, a good way to say like you are better than the person who, who wrote that right but given that you are a warrior you're not going to stop just because a person didn't write a read me you're still going to be reading because that's that's in between you and what you want to do so i think that mentality that in this case, this is what you want to do and you need to figure it out, has to come. Even if the readme is not there. I agree, Jeremy. It's like there's no readme and it's just, I have to figure it out, I, you know, reverse engineer things. Yeah, but this is great. Like I, I like it because I mean, we are learning from other people and realizing why it's important even to write readme. And because so many people just end up in your in your page and they, they don't have so yeah. But hopefully now, you know, the concept is clear, right? Sure it's not your fault, but it is also you don't want to be stopped. So you will proceed. Um, and the sharing, you know, from Bani shared something here and there. So that's great as well. Proceed, uh Jermaine, if you have the updates. Am I? I was trying to type, but it's okay. I will proceed. All right. Thank you. Uh, didn't update us. Did you update? Did you, did you update? Not yet. Sorry. And you I, want I did. to get the update of what you did. And my updates, like. Yesterday, I've been trying to get the whole concept of what we have to do. And I was figuring out how to to load my data to a data warehouse, but it was hard without getting the understanding of the database. I mean, the data we have. Like, you can't load the data without understanding what you are loading and what you'll be loading to the database. I was getting the timestamp and one column was was looking like an ID and other numbers was like, have the same numbers. And I was trying to ask myself like, is, it, is this a same sequence numbers or there is another meaning for behind these numbers? Then there I was stuck trying to figuring out what those numbers really referring to. Okay. Yes. Hopefully, hopefully now you can keep, I mean, get started on the data understanding and start loading it into the database. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, okay, I think you still have too much time for two more trainings. Can you pick the next training? Uh, okay, let me check the list. Ethani. Ethani. Yes, hello. Hi. Yeah, so for the update, uh, yesterday I was able to to, 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 to set up an envir environment, including the, 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 the GitHub repo, and then I, 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 I installed uh, a MySQL database, and then I was, uh, I was passing through the the, the, the sources that that was was provided to to to, to, to understand more about uh, airflow, DBT, and and, and, uh, and other stuffs. So I mean, starting from today, I'll, I'll I mean I'll, I'll start to to, to to implement them. Okay. Yeah. So that that's my my my, my, my update so far. All right. Thank you, Johnny. Okay. Uh, can you pick the next unit? Okay. Zalalem. Zalalem. Yes, Zalalem. 
gitu. Halo, good morning. Good morning. Oke, okay, uh, for my update, uh, yesterday I tried to see the difference between database and data warehouse and uh, how to build data warehouses. Uh, besides that, I tried to figure out uh, the data and uh, I also have the same problem uh, the other trainees mentioned. So I was only able to figure out the first three columns, the date, time, and station ID. Uh, I tried to look at the data page, but I haven't uh, seen the GitHub. Uh, I haven't digged the GitHub repo, so that's what I will do next. And I've also tried to see some videos on DBT. Uh, this is my update. Mm -hmm. um. Thank you very much, Sean. So, so we have first time. Uh, guest talk starts um, tomorrow. Yes, then I'll tell you. Yes. Announce, finish uh, the announcement, uh, Rubaka. Thank you. Um, guest talk starts uh, tomorrow. Um, for um, the trainees that have not turned in their uh, portfolio of data profiles, please do so because it will um, help us help. Um, you uh, place you into a job as soon as uh, possible, and uh, we are hoping you would get started on this week's project and ask a lot of questions and deliver the solution. That's the update. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. great. No, I, I just want to make sure you know, sometimes tones when we have conversations, they might you know, they, they might be misunderstood, and I think you know you should understand whatever we have said today, more of from the context, like now we're becoming more colleagues um, as you get to the, you know, to the end of this thing, you should consider yourself like we are working colleagues, like that you have understood what work is, right? And hopefully you do, uh, and we trust on that. And so in work environment, sometimes you cut across many things, many formalities, and you just say what exactly you want to say. And sometimes you don't have the time to make it easier. And so we may be hard a little bit sometimes on you. And the reason is because we trust that you have come so far. And you should only understand it in that context. And I think you shouldn't understand it from any other angle than that. And you really should come these days like to the stand-up with a feeling of like going to a job and if you don't feel that contact with us like on you know what, what i mean i'm sure arun has been already with you for a number of sessions and you know you are talking but again still there might be some some challenge considering yourself as coming to a stand-up which is to a meeting you know stand-up is really in all the team that you're going to be placed you're going to have a, a, a very similar thing daily catch up updating and you should come with a certain mentality which is more, much more like, okay, you know, you have told about it, what you want to do and what you want to update, right? And then other people might be just too, like, if you haven't done your task, they might not really be polite. But it's not because they don't like it. It's really just because they don't have time. When you meet daily, you don't have time to be polite sometimes. And so understand it a lot more from, like, the perspective of, like, okay, now, you know, we are no more in the kind of giving you, we give a challenge and you solve. I think that is not the case. And that's why I, so I'm also reducing the work amount on myself. I didn't check the code, like, or I didn't check the data as much as what I wanted was to give a very a scenario and a business context. And then we wanted just the data suitable for that. And I knew that this data has, you know, what it is because the descriptions I've, I've gone through and it's fine. And the reason is because I thought, okay, you'll figure it out. Because you know, I trust that you are beyond that, and and so it, you should just figure. If something is not figured out, you should improve it in the document. You should improve it in the challenge, because you are now contributing. Like you are part of this team, contributing to make even the challenge improved. As you could see, at first we were really just detailing so much. Now we are detailing less, because we expect like if there is a mistake now, you should correct it, and you should let us know kind of way. Okay. So understand it from that perspective. If you felt something is not right, you should let us know. 
if you're coming, if you're not feeling again still in the same mentality that we are saying, like coming to, to this morning with a sense of work, again, you know, reach out. Like, how do you reach out to any of us to say, like, you know, how can I feel that? I'm not still feeling it. So be that, uh, you know, consider these things just because I felt today we, we were not slightly, you know, polite or we were just more direct. I know Rubakar is talking to you like, uh, like that, what the, and I'm also doing the same. And it is not because we are hard, it's just because we trust that you are ready. Okay, so just I just want to make sure that is clear. Um, yeah, if there is, I think time is up, so I'm gonna be finished. But if there's anything that on what I say, just if you have anything, then uh, you can say it. But if not, hand it over to is there anything else, uh, Abu Bakar, after this? Um, I, maybe there's like an EMA shadow. Yeti? Is Yeti here? Is there going to be any uh, AMA? Um, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Okay. So? All right. Uh, so. so Stop the recordings and then we'll see you on Pocket Chat on Tuesday.